Hi everyone, welcome to Dataverse Academy. In this video, we will learn how we can use the procedure activity in data pipeline. Log into your Microsoft Fabric account, then click on blue left hand corner, then click on Data Warehouse. Click on Workspaces, then click on your Workspace. As we are going to use the procedure activity of data pipeline, so for that, first we will create a procedure within our data warehouse. Click on your data warehouse, then click on new SQL query. Now I'll create a procedure within my warehouse. To save our time, I have already designed a procedure. Let me paste it. In this procedure, I'm passing two parameters. One is schema name and another one is table name. And then I'm dropping that table from our data warehouse. This is the dummy table which we will drop by passing the schema name and table name from our data pipeline. Now click on run. Our procedure is created successfully. Now we will create our data pipeline to call this procedure and we will pass both the parameters. Click on your workspace then click on new then select data pipeline give name to your data pipeline then click on create now click on activities at the top you can see stored procedure activity click on it give name and description to your activity then click on settings here you need to select workspace then select your warehouse then select your procedure this is our procedure which we have created click on it now we need to import our parameters click on import here you can see we have these two parameters and we will pass the value from our data pipeline first is schema name so it is dbo and I have a dummy table in my warehouse. Dummy one. Let's validate our pipeline. Click on home. Then click on validate. Click on close. Now save it. Once it is saved, click on run. Our procedure activity ran successfully. Let's check the table in our data warehouse. Click on your data warehouse. Here you can see the dummy table has been dropped. That's it. Thank you for watching this video.